And watch out for my banana bread. And um, they sent some year upper kit for the, for the conference. And we just started programming it. So we built the kit in a session during the conference on Saturday. And now we've got a distance sensor in the front there. Sorry? You can't stop it anymore? Yeah, just stop it. <laughs> Good, but the brains came at the wrong but spot. It's, it's right. 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 It right. came after the first clip. Yeah. 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 Oh, I, I think I know. Oh, yeah. 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 Can I just show you one time? Oh, sorry. No, go ahead. Yeah. 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 What's, what's pretty cool is when I built their own I.O. board, because first they were using an Arduino based board, but their Arduino is costing like 80 bucks because it's so hard to get electronics anywhere in South America. So now they built their own robot for um, $20 or the platform here. And the thing is, it's also a single layer board, so they have actually gotten some teachers to build their own PCPs and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so really, they, they, they said, you know, it, open hardware is not enough to have to design so open, it has to be open, that people can actually reproduce it. Uh, and yeah, that is, that is really cool. So you have six, six inputs? Right. Or outputs, yes. right? and then... Yes. You connect it here, and, you can, I mean, they wrote this really nice integration with the art. So, you know, basically, you, it's a plug-in, and then shows up forward with the uh, backward with the left with the, and then you've got grayscale sensors, temperature sensors, vibration, resistance, whatever, and you can nicely integrate that. Nice. And I think Are you, you making those sensors too? Sorry. Yes. 